I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you Greg Hanna. Greg, country music has many new fans in Europe who might be hearing about you for the first time. So can you please introduce yourself and the music you're playing to them? Well, uh, I'm Greg Hanna and uh, originally from Canada, uh, Toronto, Ontario. I grew up a dairy farmer, you know, milking cows and uh, working hard. And I uh, like to uh, portray in my music uh, the work hard, party hard mentality. So when you hear a Greg Hanna song, you're going to feel good. Greg, you have a new album in the process and there's a great new single, I know. Can you talk a little bit about it? Well, the new single is coming out. Uh, it's probably, and I like to, whenever I play live, I tell everyone this, that it's probably uh, the closest I've ever been to a song. It's probably the, my favorite song I've ever written as a songwriter uh, called Making Love Real. And uh, it's, uh, we're setting it up to be uh, the wedding song of the year. So I can't wait for people to start hearing it. We just shot the video in California, so it was nice and warm when we were there. And uh, uh, it's great cinematography. You see it all over the internet, and all the video channels will start airing it here shortly. So enjoy. Greg, by all the time you are now in the music business, I believe there are a couple of good stories you can share with us, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I got all kinds of stories in the music business. You know, uh, obviously, you know, the best stories in the music business are whenever you get a chance to perform with people who are your icon, or the people you've looked up to, your yeah. mentors. Uh, when I first moved to Nashville, you know, six years ago, uh, I actually ended up writing a song for uh, Sammy Kershaw. Was on uh, was on his Audium project called "I Want My Money Back," and the song was called "Miss What's Her Name." And uh, just to have someone like that record one of the songs that I've written, you know, I actually, when I was cutting my teeth per se in the country bars in Canada, I sang all the Sammy Kershaw songs. So that that kind of stuff is an honor for me. Uh, last summer, I toured all summer across America with Toby Keith and Trace Adkins on the American Ride Tour, and to me, that was that was awesome for me to be part of that and see how those guys as professionals uh, hone their craft. And you know, I just like to it, I can appreciate as an artist what they do, and it was great to have that association. By all the songs you recorded, which one you would recorded you never recorded before? Hmm. Of my of my songs? Yep, might be one of yours and one you never wrote or what song I would love to record? Yeah. The one song I'd love to record and put out is probably to me the most incredible so country song ever is George Jones uh, He Stopped Loving Her Today. And uh, the downside is is that it's hard to beat that song. So, you know, whenever you do one of those songs that's a the iconic country music yeah. song like that, you walk the line of whether you can do it justice yeah. or not because George is just so great. That's right. So, that as far as that goes, that's probably the number one song I'd love to record in my career. What inspired you to come to the country music business? Well, growing up on a as a farmer on yeah. a dairy farm, we were on a thousand acre dairy farm, and uh, you know, to be quite honest, I really didn't know what rock and roll was. Uh, right from when I was a little little guy, uh, you know, when we went into milk cows at six o'clock in the morning, the stereo went on really loud, and it was country music.